Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the screen on an HP laptop. Here you can see that the screen is flickering, they pixelated, sometimes it's fuzzy. That more likely has to do with the, uh, the screen that is not working. All right, so you can see it better. It flickers, yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and turn off the computer. And then we should go from there. We have the computer shutting down. Okay, well, it is recommended to remove the battery before you disconnect the screen. You can do that by removing the uh, bottom part of the cover. But I'm just going to jump right into the computer, just waiting for the uh, power light to go off until the computer shuts down. All right, so the power light goes off, the computer is off. Um, I'm just going to jump right into the screen. But if you want to remove the battery, you can. If you don't want to do it, it's fine as well, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm using a metal prying tool. to going to go in between the bezel to remove this, um, this, this cover here. So at this point, when you try to remove the bottom part of it, uh, try to go outside the plastic. What I mean by that is, if you can see it, so the LCD screen do have a little plastic here that is covering the, um, the board. So you want to cut in front of the plastic not behind of the plastic. I'll show it to you in a better angle later on. Okay, once you cut it open, and then the entire basil will just come right off. So this is what I was referring to, is that the LCD screen do have this little plastic case that says do not touch and the adhesive is double sided on the plastic on top of the bezel right so when I was trying to cut it I'm trying to cut the adhesive not the plastic because you do not want to cut that part of thing to be exposed but if you happen to cut it that's fine not a big deal because we're removing the screen uh, but just try to cut it above the plastic. All right, next step. Let's see what happened to this screen here. I wonder if the screen is held on by the adhesive or is it by the metal bracket here on the side so let me remove the two screws and see what happens i need to confirm before i further yeah it doesn't seem like it's held down by the uh... okay it's not held down by the um, the two hinge or the uh, the metal piece here so let me put the screw back in. It may have been double-sided tape, which is the bottom part here. Yep, so they used the double-sided tape. Uh, I was looking for the black tape, but they used the white one, which I couldn't see it earlier. Now I confirmed it. They used this adhesive tape. I get a tweezer, I kind of give it a couple of twists here, a couple of turn, pull, turn, pull. So take your time, do not um, try not to break this double sided adhesive thing. This, this tape is really um, hard to pull. And if you break it, 
And if you break this thing, then it's a lot harder to remove the screen. All right, so I just pull out the entire uh, tape here. Now, this is a bad choice. Let's do the same on the other side of the screen. Alright, at this point here, you can uh, tilt the screen towards yourself, like towards you. And then be careful with the cable, do not snap it because it's really tight and there's no room for it. Okay, at this point here, just peel off that little tape and push it to the back. And the entire screen will just come right off. And if you're not sure where to buy the screen, just take a look at here. It says B156HAK02. I'll link it on the description below. Go ahead and check it out on either Amazon or eBay. We will usually um, do the shopping over there. Let me see if I have a... Just a screen to test it out here at the moment. I have a couple of the screen here sitting around. I wonder if they're compatible. This is 156 GA. Let's try the GA version. So the original screen, um, again, the code is the uh, B156HAK. And I have a different screen here that says N156BGA. So let me try that and see if it works. Nope, this is a smaller pin. Let me try this one. Nope, this is a 30 pin connector. So you definitely need a 40 pin connector. The 30 pin connector seems to be a bit too small. Yeah, unfortunately I do not have a 40 pin connector. This one seems to be a 40 pin connector. Uh, it's not a 30 pin connector so when you get the new screen comes in you just have to reconnect them back again like so join it back again and the next step is to get the adhesive tape I definitely need to buy this double-sided adhesive tape. I'll link it in the description below again. Uh, this is a 5mm, 5mm. There's a thickness of the adhesive tape here. So once you have that, the next thing to do is to re-tape it on the side of the, the screen. And you want to give it a little slack here. Sorry, I'm going to give it a little slack here. That extra slack of the tape is to show the next person the next time where the um, additional um, where the tape is so that they can uh, pull from the additional slack to replace the second screen if they, they have to. All right, so tape it down. And once you have that tape down, uh, what you're gonna do is to go ahead and lift it up and glue them back together. Uh, very straightforward, simple as that. And um, 
and also the bezel and you have the uh, the bezel right here and reconnect them back again so that would be the process of getting the screen repaired and replaced and hope this video is helpful I know that I did not finish the job here uh, just because I do not have the screen on hand I need to place an order but I just need to uh, check on the model so that's what I did all right thanks for watching until next time take care and bye now